I'm going to talk a, about that a little bit more. So there's still a decision, mulling over a decision, contemplating the new energies. And um, you've already, I don't have like, you know, attachment issues or, or things that you need to release. I feel like you have symbolically released that past situation and you're waiting for new things to come into the picture. Okay. So the second image that I saw, and it was really weird. Um, I, I still can't make sense of it, but I'm just going to relay it to you. Um, so I see this uh, UFO, okay, it, it's definitely an alien spaceship. It's very cartoony. And uh, there's a, a black and white cow grazing in the pasture. So of course, you know, stereotypically, the uh, alien spacecraft um, hovers directly over the cow. It shines a light down, beaming to lift the cow into the spaceship. And um, there's like, a, you know, this was back in the days where you have cow herders, right? Um, and, and the, the little teenage, it looks like a, a young man. He might be in his twenties, but he's very malnourished and he looks very thin. And, uh, he sees the cow being airlifted into the spaceship and he like runs over, um, pulls down the leg of the cow and he's kind of like cursing to the people in the spaceship. This is my livelihood. This is not something that you can take away from me. How dare you? And then he's so, str you know, he, he's like, thin and malnourished but he's he wants it so badly that he pulls it he pulls the cow back onto the ground and then the spaceship were just like the, the people on the spaceship controlling the spaceship were just like oh this is not worth it let the man have his cow and so they the the spaceship kind of zooms off so i thought that was really weird but as i'm explaining that to you guys um i'm feeling like this is very, very symbolic. It's almost like if you want it bad enough, you're going to be able to get it. Okay, so for many of you, whatever it is that you want, I feel like you have to hone in and focus your energy. Make sure your energy is hyper-focused, like almost like a laser, like a laser beam. Once you can verbalize that, you know, I want this. This is something that I really, really, really want. That's when the heavens will kind of like work behind the scenes to orchestrate an event for you to get exactly what it is that you want. And as I'm telling you that story with the cow getting abducted, I'm seeing this image here. And the thing that really struck me is um, this is the justice card. Usually you see the balance of the scale, right? But what I feel is it's somebody in the driver's seat. She's got like her hands on a button. Okay. It's almost like the the total control is in your hands all you have to do is push that button and you're going to be able to you know exact some major major change in your life but it's almost like you have to almost convince the universe that this is going to be beneficial for me in so many ways therefore i want this thing and so i feel like at this point you're still mulling over a decision here we have here the two of swords being undecided, being unclear, possibly being fearful as well, because we all know that every time you make a decision, you go for it, but you're still apprehensive, right? And it all boils down to the fact, I'm, I'm not picking up like low self-esteem or anything like that, but I feel like with Virgos, there's a lot of self-doubt. Am I on the right path? Is this the best optimal outcome? Is this the most practical decision? Is this something that, you know, is going to serve my uh, greater good? Uh, what if I mess up? What if I, I can't backtrack? What if this is just, you know, um, a starry-eyed pipe dream? What am I going to do? Like, how, how am I going to secure my future? So there's a lot at stake here. And I feel like you're still mulling over a decision. You're still undecided. And I feel because you're undecided, because internally you are undecided. You're still stuck in limbo, not knowing when things are going to come in, waiting on all the things to fall into place, waiting on the decision from other people. And I feel it's almost like, you know, which came first, the, the indecision or the fact that you're undecided. And I feel like you have such strong capability of manifesting that you need to be decided first. Your heart and your head needs to be perfectly in alignment. And you need to be able to kind of like, you know, mutter to yourself, this is what I want. 
this is something I really, really, really want. And get your mind and your heart to be in the right place, to be in accordance with one another. And then this period of waiting in suspension is going to kind of like lift away, take off, mainly because this person is going to push the button, okay? So I feel like there's a lot to be said here, Virgos, about you being the one to take charge of your life and to get things moving for yourself. And it comes through from the mental space, okay? It, it comes through from, you know, not mulling things over, not straddling the fence, not, you know, going back and forth. Because I feel like this is a lot of fear, okay? H clinging on to our earthly possessions, we definitely have enough here. There's nothing in this spread that indicates to me financial lack, but it indicates to me a certain lifestyle, okay, where there's a lot of financial resources, where we have plan A, B, C, and D, where we have a lot of choices and options to fall back on, where we have always been inundated with, you know, if A doesn't work out, I have B. If B doesn't work out, I have C. So there's a like a safety net. There's a lot here to be said about Virgos always have safety nets. They always have the savings in, you know, the, the money in the savings account. They always have assets that they can liquidate if time gets rough. They always have like a new job that they're like, oh, you know, uh, uh, that person will always hire me. Um, you guys have a habit of, and this is something good, so not to worry. You guys have a habit of establishing really, really good rapport with all the people that you have uh, worked for like uh, previous employers, okay? You have really, really established, like just, you have a sterling reputation. So even though you're at this job right now, if this doesn't go the way that you want, you know that so-and-so that I used to work for a few years ago really loved me. So if I, this doesn't work out, I can always go back there. If that doesn't work out, five years ago, I used to work for this person and they would take me back in a heartbeat. If that doesn't work out 10 years ago, so, so forth. So I feel like you've always created a lifestyle or, you know, like you've always like built upon your experiences in a really fruitful way. And it created systems like really complicated and complex systems of safety nets that you could always, always, always fall back on. And as a result of that, I feel like there's you've got nothing to lose okay i feel like you've got nothing to lose so there is a decision that you're mulling over here and i feel like it requires a restructuring of a specific lifestyle and you're mulling over the decision even though i feel like you know there's no sense of financial lack whatsoever but i feel that you are fearful i'm almost seeing like a swirl um swirling away the acorns in a little hole in a tree, you know, he's on a branch and he's like throwing the, the, uh, the acorns down this hole. Like he's trying to build it up. He's trying to build up his, his reserve. He's trying to weather himself against rough times. He might be sensing that there's something coming. He might be sensing that there's restructuring in his work environment. And he's just like, I need to get myself out of there. But before I do that, I need to do something, uh, to kind of like provide that safety net for myself. So you've been stringing up safety nets, safety nets, and I feel like there's nothing to fear here. The, the, the major thing is for you to be very clear in your mind what it is that you want as your next step. Once you're able to do that, you can move forward, okay? The four of pentacles here. This is a card about wanting to control a situation. And then we have as well the four of cups which is boredom. This is like apprehension, trepidation, um, wanting a change very, very, very badly. But the situation that we're in right now is still tolerable. It's still tolerable. So we're just going to stay in it. And so we haven't really made up our mind. And I feel like that's where you're at um, right now, Virgos. The situation's okay. I mean, you know, it, 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 it doesn't really hurt you in any way, but you're a little bit bored. You're looking for a little bit more excitement. You're looking for something with a little bit more meaning. You're looking for something new. You're really, really, really aiming for something brand new, something that you haven't really formulated in your mind yet, what it's going to look like. 
How is it going to change me? How is that going to help me? Or what are all the elements of the new thing that I'm looking for? For many of you, this could be a new relationship as well. You might be dealing with a situation where there's like um, obligation, okay? And I'm feeling we might have like a relationship here where there might be children, okay? We have here the Empress energy, and this is like uh, fertility. This is heavily about family, home, hearth, and children. So you might have children with another person. You might have uh, a family. You might have, you know, child support, custody, or whatever. And I feel like you might not want to stay in that relationship anymore, or the relationship has just gotten a little bit stale, and you're looking for something new. And I feel like if you were to leave the situation, this is the child support card, six of pentacles, money coming in from an institution or money that needs to be leaving um, because it's institutionally or judicially ordained, like child support, custody, alimony. Um, I'm seeing a lot of that coming into the picture with the justice card, okay? There could be a divorce that you are mulling over. Both sides are, are still at a standstill, at still at a stalemate as to the terms of the conditions or even thinking about like, do we do this at all? So I feel like there is a situation here where you're thinking about separation, you're thinking about divorce, and the other person is refusing to let you go. Okay, so one person wants to leave, the other person is refusing, digging their heels in. And then I feel like for others of you, there's a situation where it's tolerable, it's tolerable, and so there's no need yet to do anything brand new. But I feel like it's tolerable right now. Coming in, you know, the next few months, I feel like the um, in about like three months time in particular, I'm doing this in the month of March. This reading is for, meant for April, but I'm feeling in about three months' time, which is going to take us into the June time frame. Uh, things might escalate because I do see arguments coming in, internal conflict, and especially competition. And, you know, um, this is not a, a hostile energy, but this indicates to me competition and possibly arguments, fighting over something, um, somebody wanting the last word or even... Um, battling it out okay so I definitely feel many of you are embroiled embroiled in a situation here um, I see a lot of energies here about waiting for new things to start and I feel like the universe is really pushing you to make your mind up and be very very clear about what it is so for example if you're choosing between should I stay or should I go uh, whether it be a work situation or a love situation, you need to really itemize it out. Like, you know, what benefits am I getting from staying? And it's really important for us to, you know, it's okay to be selfish. It's okay to say, like, what am I getting out of this? If I were to stay, what am I getting? What am I learning? If I were to leave and go with this next thing, what am I getting out of it? It's okay to be selfish. It's okay to go after what you want. And it's, it's really okay to just do it because you're getting more out of it. And I feel like you guys have really denied yourself a lot of these things because when you make decisions, you want it to benefit the greater good, right? But your energy is coming in here with the Knight of Pentacles where we have been really, really slow about making decisions, where we have mulled things over, where we kind of like deny ourselves the things that really stir our passions. And I feel like the universe is really telling you as well, you know, with the world card, seize the day to really go after what it is that really stirs your passion. And whatever it is, it's meant for you. The justice card is about reciprocity. It's about the give and take. It's also about balancing out as well, you know, uh, making sure that your heart and your mind as well is in the right place. It's in perfect alignment with each other. Because once that is, once that's locked down, once your mind and your heart is in the right place, you're going to be able to manifest it. You're going to be able to pull it towards you. It's like that man... 
He wants that cow. He needs it. It's his livelihood. If the uh, aliens take a cow that they don't need to, for whatever reason, they, they want to experiment, right? So if they experiment on his cow, that's all he has. And so he realizes that, you know, this is something that I want. I need to grab hold of it and I need to not let it go. And I need to fight for it, right? Fighting for something that you, you really love. Claiming your territory as well. Um, this is something that really affects you, I feel like body heart body and soul the soul might be the element that's really missing and i feel like you know the the man against all odds he's a scrawny man he's malnourished and he pulled this cow out of the sky and he's able to retain his things okay um, for those of you who are dealing with a legal situation i feel like you don't want to resort to like underhanded tactics i'm sensing you want to do it the right way. You want to be ethical and moral about it. And I feel like there is a way to do that ethically and morally without compromising anything of yourself, any moral, um, without it like affecting you on a moral basis. But I also feel there's a better way to do it as well through the sheer force of what it is that you want. Okay, like displaying what it is that you want and especially really fighting for the things that you want. Um, I'm going to leave it at that, okay, Virgos? Um, thank you so much, you guys, for all the views for the last month's reading. So I hope this reading is helpful. I hope it is, um, you know, it provides good guidance for those of you who are dealing with this because I feel like it is very much about money, love, uh, work as well, okay? So I do, I do see those three elements coming into the picture. But I feel like no matter what, we start out with the Knight of Pentacles, your energy, Moving slowly, ending with the Empress, ruling your territory, claiming your territory, um, being on top, okay? So there's nothing bad in this situation. For those who are dealing with custody issues, you're going to be able to get, you know, the, the most favorable terms, I feel, because your energy is coming up very strongly. 